just as we humans do, many of the animals we find in nature take it upon themselves to build their own homes, either to impress a potential mate or to shelter their children from the weather and predators. These architects of nature build nests that are so complex and impressive that scientists themselves are amazed to see that these structures were made by animals. Are you good at building things like these engineering animals or do your hands destroy everything they touch? Get your tools ready and meet the most amazing animal builders. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. Portrait Spiders Portraits have long been a basic element of the human decoration. Whether it's an oil painting of a monarch or a simple family portrait, we love to look at ourselves. And as it turns out, some spiders do too. According to a recent discovery in the Peruvian Amazon, scientists found a small arachnid only 5 millimeters long that can draw a giant spider in the middle of the structure it creates with its webs. The lure is made of small pieces of debris gathered together, creating the illusion of an insect that is hundreds of times larger than its creator. And as you figure, it's all meant to deter the predators. Sociable Weaver Birds If you're ever traveling through Africa and see something that looks like a huge haystack stuck in a tree, you have probably found a nest of sociable weaver birds. These birds build larger nests than any other bird, housing up to 400 individuals, and that's not all. Some nests can remain occupied for over a hundred years. According to several experts, a nest consists of separate rooms, each occupied by a pair of breeding birds. Sociable weavers use large sticks to create the roof and the basic structure of the nest and dry grasses to form the individual rooms, which are lined up with softer grasses and fibers. Beavers Beavers are surely the most renowned animal architects. These prolific builders cut down trees and gather sticks and mud to build dams, with which they create ponds that offer them protection from predators and allow easy access to food during the winter. Although a beaver dam is approximately as tall as a football player and as wide as a small car, they can be much larger. In 2007, experts detected the world's largest beaver dam in Alberta, Canada, using Google Earth. The dam extends for an incredible 10 football fields long, and it is estimated that it took beavers 20 years to build it. They are certainly animals that like to work hard. Termites The Northwest Territory of Australia is full of spectacular structures of termites who build mounds that can rise up to more than two floors high. Incredible! Built from mud, chewed wood, saliva, and termite feces. And each mound is a self-sufficient megacity. Underground, the termite colony can exceed a couple of blocks wide. Water collects through condensation inside the mound, where some termites maintain subterranean mushroom gardens that they cultivate with plant matter and is used to feed the giant subterranean city. Quite impressive what these little insects can accomplish. Humans should learn from the termites and their construction skills. Paper wasps The paper wasps have a fairly advanced process of nest construction. First, they collect pieces of wood and vegetable fiber and chew them until they become a soft pulp. Then, they choose a nesting site, such as a tree branch or behind a blind, and spit out their pulp to build their nest. As the pulp dries, the paper hardens and eventually becomes a waterproof home. The nest is made of hexagonal cells in which the wasps' young will develop, many of which will be covered in a paper envelope to protect themselves from parasites. What is most impressive is that the nest with more mature wasps can have up to 200 cells. Unfortunately, during the winter, the nests of the paper wasps will fall apart, so they have to build it again every spring. Cataflies Cataflies are small, moth-like insects that can be found in freshwater habitats, usually streams, and it is in their larvae stage that they demonstrate their skills as architects. According to scientists, 
all caterfly larvae are aquatic and live inside protective cases that they build with their own silk and any material they find, usually gravel, twigs, leaf fragments, and other debris. The most surprising thing about these small insects is that they can use materials such as gold or precious stones to build their protective cases. In fact, in the 80s, the French artist Hubert Dupont decided to take advantage of the ability of these larvae and provided them with precious materials, such as gold flakes, opals, pearls, and turquoise, with which they build beautiful and expensive cases that also are works of art. Giant Octopus We all have seen houses that clearly belong to someone rich and famous. Their walls are several floors high, extravagant decorations in a variety of security cameras. But we humans are not the only ones with this kind of behavior. As some aquatic animals seem to have the same idea, and everything seems to point to the giant octopus of the Pacific as the rock stars of the sea. So much so that the scientists place underwater cameras near their homes of these intelligent mollusks revealing that it likes to wall itself off at the entrance of its lairs with large shells and other debris, almost as if it were very important for interacting with other animals. It seems like the giant octopus like very exclusive things. Ants Ants stand beside beavers as one of the most famous architects of the animal world. These insects build their elaborate homes by emptying the nearby areas with their jaws, grain by grain, and unless the soil dries out extra quickly, the rooms they built will remain their shape. But how ants manage to build such well-planned underground structures remain a mystery to scientists. The most amazing thing about all this is that they do not do it with a plan. They have no leader and are in total darkness. It is in their nature to just be excellent architects. It would be very useful if we could put them to work for us. Ants are very good workers. Curly Leaf Spider Many spiders make webs, of course, but the Australian curly leaf uses recycled materials to build an extra room for its home. This arachnid chooses a beautiful dead leaf and covers it with silk curling it up to form a cozy shelter that closes at the top and opens at the bottom. These spiders hang their creation in the center of a web and take refuge there while waiting for their prey. When these spiders reproduce, the female builds another room with another curly leaf, which she uses to care for her young. The most incredible thing about these arachnids is that they do not only use leaves to create their nests, but they also use pieces of paper or other lightweight materials. They really do know the meaning of recycling. Prairie dogs. These mammals are relatives of the marmots and are characterized by a coarse body and short legs. Prairie dogs build their burrows by digging in the ground. And because they live primarily on Great Plains of the United States, where there are extreme variations of climate from season to season, their homes are built to withstand extreme temperatures, floods, and even fires. Prairie dog burrows are grouped into villages that cover long distances, with 5 to 35 animals per square kilometer. However, according to scientists, there was once a prairie dog village which had over 400 million dogs that lived there at one time. Quite a feat to create such a large burrow. Earthworms The earthworm may seem like a very simple animal. However, they're nature's farmers, plowing the land as they go through it. The tunnels they leave behind also serve to circulate air and water in the soil, keeping it fresh and rich of nutrients. It is also important to mention that earthworm feces are essential, since they are rich in nitrogen, calcium, and other nutrients that are indispensable for a healthy ecosystem. According to scientists, one square meter of soil can contain up to 300 earthworms, and although not all soils contain them, their presence is often a good sign of a healthy soil. It's amazing the work that these animals do while making their homes, 
They really do deserve more recognition. The Montezuma or Pendula These birds build elaborate hanging nests in Central American trees. They use vines to weave the hanging baskets, grouping the nests into colonies and anchoring the nests with the stronger vines, adding softer fibers little by little until their homes are completed. These structures are usually located in large, isolated trees, with the nest hanging from the most delicate end of the branches, discouraging attacking monkeys from trying to get out to devour the precious eggs. The Montezuma Oro Pendula also has another way of keeping predators at bay. They like to build in trees where hornets live. So not only do they create a good home, but they also include several defense systems. Without a doubt, the animals have great capacity to create their nests and other complex structures. The most incredible thing about this is that it's all instinct. They do not need any other animals to teach them how to build unlike humans who need to spend years learning. So who's the best architect in the animal world? Do you know of any we didn't mention? Thanks for watching this video and see you next time! Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos.